Hi there, um, I'm Mark and I just came from Fee Woog's Philippine Windows, uh, Philippine Windows Users Group um, Windows 8 Load Fest for the Consumer Preview. We have here an Acer 1825 PTZ preloaded with a 64-bit um, version of the OS and this one has been sold in the Philippines and you can probably get one for around 25,000. From a person. Um, this uh, panel has two touch points, can be recognized, and in my opinion, it's one of the better uh, tablets to use uh, the Windows 8 consumers, consumer preview with. Um, I have there a Bluetooth mouse that has been paired with the device so that I can show you some of the interface usage using a mouse as well as the touch screen. I will boot this up. Windows 8 is set to boot for um, within 8 seconds. And we will see here that it is indeed very fast to boot. And that's it. It's already loading. It's using a local account. Um, and we can see here the start screen with the tiles. I will now convert this to a tablet mode so that we won't have access to a keyboard. And we'll use the um, gestures to navigate the interface. So in the start screen, you can just swipe left or right to access more of the tiles. Or if you have a long tile setup, you can just perform a pinch to zoom and then click on wherever you want to go. Um, these squares and rectangles are called tiles and these updating ones like this hotmail and this weather um, tile are called live tiles. Um, the important gestures to remember are for touch swiping from the top, the left the right and from the bottom. Um, from the right is the most important because it brings up the it brings up the start button, um, connected devices, the settings settings um, button and search functionality as well as the share. So you can just um, link it to Facebook, Twitter, and whatnot. Whenever you bring that up, the current date and time is also brought up, and as well as some of the um, status for connectivity. Okay, um, we accidentally brought up the finance app when I tried that the first time. Um, one of the um, more important gestures is the app close gesture which is done by flicking from the top to the center okay and then down again and that will effectively close the app um, now for those familiar with Windows 7 we still have retained the desktop here it's just like a normal Windows 7 desktop without the start button You can see it's already the Internet Explorer button there. No more start. Um, the next um, swiping gesture that's very important is swiping from the bottom. It will bring up all the applications. It's, it's like um, pressing the start menu on Windows 7. It will bring up whatever is inside the computer and you can just pick up an app um, go up a little bit and then it will bring up a sub menu that will allow you to either pin it to the start um, screen to the taskbar of the start menu in desktop mode open it in another window run as administrator and open file location it's basically equivalent to the right click 
Okay, um, we'll just pin it to start. And then when we go back to the start menu, it's already there. Um, we can move tiles around. So this fully customizable um, interface is very cool and um, navigates really, really well. Okay, we'll just open the calculator app. But since it did open from the desktop, we'll need to open another one. We'll open this. Sketchbook Express is free from the store and we'll leave that open to um, we'll also open let's open another one like the weather app so right now we have open um, the weather app the sketchbook app um, and the desktop app switching is done by flicking from the left side um, So you can switch from one um, app to the other by flicking here. Now the flicks are recognized within the first two pixels of the screen. That's what I've been told earlier. So as you can see in this form factor without that much bezel, it's quite hard to perform, but you can make do see that. Okay. Um, Closing um, menu and right click. Okay, um, we'll use the mouse now. So I'll revert this back to normal netbook mode. <laughs> think and there we go it's detected now okay so as you can see the right click functionality brings up the bottom panel it's right click anywhere brings up the bottom panel and then what's important to remember when using a mouse with Windows 8 are the edges um, upper left upper right lower left and lower right upper left will show you um, the next app if you want to perform app switching so you just click that then you switch between the apps if you drag down it will show you what other apps are available so if there were three let's open up the weather app again there's the third one. You come in here, you see the desktop, the sketchbook, and the weather app open. This is called... Um, this function is a side-by-side -side form which allows you to use two, two applications together side-by-side. Um, this can only be done if the screen is 1366 by 768. If the resolution is smaller, 1024, um, this functionality is disabled. So you can put it to the left or the right, whichever wants the focus. It's basically a very nice uh, display of to call this multitasking closing performed the same way you can just bring up the app and put it down um, scroll wheel allows you to move across the uh, start screen and basically but the from the right you go either to the top or to the bottom to bring up the five five button menu 
which will allow you to go back to the start screen at any time. For example, you're in the desktop and you want to go to the start screen. If you have a Windows button, you can push that. Otherwise, you will have to go to the extreme lower left, extreme or rather lower right, extreme upper right, and use these five buttons. Settings panel has also been changed, which reflects a very nice display. But if you don't want that, you can also access it from the desktop. You can maybe this is one of the quicker methods that I've found. You just let's get rid of that calculator. And just bring up the explorer and then type the control panel and it will come up and you have the old windows 7 version right in front of you okay one of the um, better things that i found here let's switch this back to tablet mode and press once to get rid of the to let the panel know that we're using touch again and then bring up the keyboard okay the keyboard can be configured into one of three types or um, the normal keyboard the split keyboard which will allow you to um, type using your thumbs from the left and from the right And then the handwriting recognition, which is very, very nice. I'll just bring up the notepad here and show you what I mean. I just found this out earlier and it's quite, it's quite nice. Uh, okay, here's the notepad. We'll perform um, a handwriting recognition using cursive. Okay, that's wrong. Let's try that again. He's probably recognizing that as an A because the the loop was very far. You can see it's actually very intuitive and I can use it. Start, for example. It's very nice. Uh, I really like this innovation of theirs. And the normal keyboard is very well spaced now. It's very quick to recognize whatever you might be typing. There we go. Okay. And with that said, if you want to use Windows 8 right now, Consumer Preview is available. You can download it off their site by on ISO form. Put it into a DVD and or a DVD uh, USB boot disk. And then you can use the Windows 8 for yourself and let's just shut this down I'll show you a very fast shutdown procedure there we go it's gone it does still have lights but will eventually die out Okay, and I hope you had learned something from the presentation. Smart.
Acer 1825 PTZ Windows 8 Preview.